Look at that. Just like that, we're back. We had a week off. We had a week off and we're back. How was everyone's break? How was your break, Carnes? It, it was amazing and troublesome. I, why? Why Why the latter? Because I went to New Orleans. Uh, and we that, talked about this. It said he's trying to kill you with butter. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I was, I was ama I had like three of the best things I've ever eaten in my entire life and I think I gained 15 pounds. I'm growing a beard now so people will notice something else yeah. about my face that it's, isn't. It's a challenge. The yeah. breaks are always the challenge. That's what this suit's telling me. I could feel this suit as I put it on go, ah. <laughs> Looks like you might have had a little week off. <laughs> I went to see the Rolling Stones last night. Oh, man. Rolling Stones, yeah. Mm. Very good. I think they got, I, I was impressed. I think they have a big future. Yeah. I yeah. do, I do, I yeah. do. I was like, you mark my words. These guys are going places. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they played it. It's kind of one of their B-sides, but they got this thing about satisfaction and how oh, they can't they get any of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it was an amazing gig. It was sensational. I love them. He's 78. Is he 77 or 78, Mick Jagger? And I was looking at him like, I don't think I could run around like that. <laughs> Insane. He's certainly not post-vacation could we run around like that. No. No. I, do, I could do... I, I could do the clap. <laughs> I could do that. Are you having a great time? Hello. I could do that, you know. I'm fine with that bit. Yeah, my, everybody's having a great time. That's it. My favorite Mick Jagger is the where is the no 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 yeah. That was like. Oh, it was all that. It was the whole thing, and he changed his jacket. He take off a silk shirt, put on another silk shirt, and it was it was sensational. Yeah, I had a great weekend. That's you know what I thought when I was watching the Stones last night. I thought, I've had a good break. I've had a good weekend. I had a great break. <laughs> nobody, nobody had a better break than that guy sat right over there wearing a pair of his wife's panties on his face. <laughs> regular viewers, regular viewers will know that that, <laughs> that man wearing his wife's underwear on his face is Nick Bernstein. <laughs> Nick is the senior, the, the senior <laughs> vice president. He is the senior vice president of late night programming West Coast. There is no president or junior. <laughs> right? But huge horse racing fan. So huge, in fact, that mask isn't his wife's panties. That is... What is it, Nick? Why do you wear it? it it's supposed to represent like what a jockey silks look like? Yeah, it's supposed to. It doesn't, right? So <laughs> we talked about this on the show. We thought, well, he's that much into horse racing. We'll we'll dress him up as a jockey for one show. So we did this, and uh, and he sat on a he sat on a plastic horse, and then, I mean, it's just gone wild for you, Nick. Talk us through yeah. talk us through what happened. The call that came after this. So after that. Uh, that experience of sitting on a giant plastic horse for an entire episode. <laughs> I, um, uh, I, there were tweets back and forth, and one of the tracks, the one in Southern California, Santa Anita, they actually <laughs> responded to me, said like, hey, call riders up, which is kind of like the thing that happens before the Kentucky Derby in these big races. Yeah. <laughs> and they reached <laughs> out to Nick and, and said, come down and be the guest of honor at the track. And we sent a camera along, some of the crew went, have a look at this footage of, of Nick Burns. Here he is here, look, meeting a horse. <laughs> the bugler played exclusively for him. He hung out in a private suite, watched all the races. You even got given a harness from one of the trainers. <laughs> look at that, look. Now, I, I couldn't go, because we were still away. Who came, who went, who from the show went down? There were a lot of us. Yeah. How, how was it, Cece, talk to me about the vibe. How big of a deal was Nick Bernstein? <laughs> how big of a deal was Bernstein down there? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I mean, Steve's <laughs> literally got one job. You know... <laughs> <laughs> you know when people say you've got one job, but they might have two or three things to do that day? <laughs> that is not the case with Steve. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the job.
I mean, I don't know what this will be like in the edit, but we are a good... <laughs> we're a good 12 minutes into chatting now, and Steve's been waiting with a microphone to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in case he calls to someone, and I called to someone, you were like, oh, I should probably turn this on. <laughs> Is that what happened, Steve? I can't hear you. You haven't yeah. got a microphone near you. <laughs> Cece, talk to me about the vibe. How was it? Uh, it, was, it was so delightful. Everyone was so excited for Nick. He was like a kid in a candy store, or like a horsey store. Uh, we, <laughs> and I think it was like so infectious. We were so happy for him. And at one point, we got yelled at for clapping because it scares the horses. <laughs> so we like, That's understandable. Nick and, yeah, it was just, it was delightful. I mean, what I've heard, you got there, you were doing interviews? Yeah. Look at this. Nick Bernstein, Senior VP of Late Night Programming, <laughs> Late Late Show, James Corden, we all know those names, right? Big fan of horse racing as well, I hear. When did, for you, the love of horse racing begin? I've loved it since I was a kid. I honestly love getting to see the horses in person. Uh, I think it's incredible. I think they're all, like, just majestic animals. Wow. <laughs> it's just, uh, pretty awesome. It's just... It's like a sort of Make-A-Wish Foundation <laughs> video. <laughs> like, like, Nick's got this just incurable disease and all he's wanted to do, all he's wanted to do is go to the track and ride a horse. That, that horse he rode isn't even like an active racehorse either. It's just one of his favorite horses that happened to be there that day. <laughs> Is that true? That's a favorite horse of yours? Yeah, that's real. That, yeah, his name is Lava Man. <laughs> <laughs> and why is Lava Man... Why is Lava Man a favorite horse of yours, Nick? He's a champion. <laughs> It's like if you went down to Staples Center and they were like, this is LeBron James. And LeBron was like, all right, hop up on the back. I'll show you around. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Uh, the trainer of Lava Man said basically the only other people who get on horses are actually Make-A-Wish Foundation kids. <laughs> wasn't enough to get a ride on a champion horse. They even named a race after Nick. Look at this. This afternoon's fifth race, named for the senior vice president of late night programming, parentheses, West Coast, comma, there is no junior vice president. <laughs> This was our race. Congratulations awesome. on winning our race. <laughs> that was amazing. Do you guys get it? <laughs> I just... That jockey looked really thrilled to be meeting you. <laughs> I think, yeah, he did... Most of these, they just have to take photos with a bunch of people they don't know after races, because it's friends and family and owners. And then I told him, oh, we work with The Late Late Show. And then his eyes lit up, like, oh, OK, but we missed that part. You didn't show that part. <laughs> well, congratulations, Nick. I know that every moment of your life has been leading to that very moment. So <laughs> congratulations. Well done. Thank Nick you. Bernstein, come on. What have we created? What have we created? Well, look, we can't, we can't just horse around. <laughs> Forever. Don't. I will not tolerate you clapping that appalling level of joke, OK? <laughs> because it's time for the news! Today, President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden hosted teachers at the White House for the Teachers of the Year Awards. Here's Joe Biden paying tribute to the teachers. You're the kite strings that lift our national ambitions aloft. I mean, not a joke. It's a reality. Is it? <laughs> Is it a reality? Because that's literally not how kites work. <laughs> The strings don't hold up the kite, it's the wind. It's not me, is it? That's not how they work. If only, if only there was a teacher around to correct him 
on that. President Biden plays pretty fast and loose with things. I actually think, given his teachers, he'd be the ultimate substitute teacher, wouldn't he? To just come in and go, ah, enough of this math stuff. You're not going to need that in the real world. Let's go get a couple of ice creams. <laughs> and here's a big story, especially if you've got the Johnson & Johnson one-and-done vaccine. Dr Anthony Fauci is now saying that FDA data shows that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine should have been two shots. I mean, come Woo! on. It was right there in the name. <laughs> in related news, the FDA has asked Johnson & Johnson to rename its No More Tears shampoo to, legally speaking, probably a few tears. <laughs> and we have an update on Queen Elizabeth we wanted to tell you about. Doctors have advised the Queen to stop drinking alcohol. Yeah. Those doctors will be executed tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently... I didn't know this. Apparently, the Queen is known to enjoy a martini in private, so I imagine this news has left her both shaken and stirred. <laughs> they want the Queen to be as healthy as possible for several upcoming royal events, to which the Queen replied, one can drink as much as one <laughs> likes. <laughs> I own the place, I mean, the palace. Now, give me a Malibu and <laughs> off. <laughs> imagine if the Queen had a Malibu. Imagine if you met the Queen. I imagine if you were lucky enough to meet the Queen and she said, would one like a drink? And you say, well, what, what, are, what are you having, Mum? She said, I like a Malibu and Coke. <laughs> I, I was having a discussion over the weekend and I meant to ask you about this when I saw you on Saturday, but I totally forgot. Louis, I'd like you to weigh in too. Has the Queen ever had McDonald's? She's had a fry. She's had one fry. One fry. I think she probably would have just gone... You know, she's had, she, hasn't, she hasn't had a burger. It is weird to imagine the Queen eating a Big Mac. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? It's a weird... I, I bet she might have had a couple of nuggets. A couple of nuggets. <laughs> Should we ask Harry? Yeah, 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 please. <laughs> to text Harry. <laughs> yeah. So, OK. I think Prince okay. Harry has had McDonald's. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm going to put this. Is this a bad idea, Ben, or a good idea? I think it's terrific. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, just wondering. I'm at the show. I'll let him know. We're... <laughs> I'm on the show. And we're wondering... He won't answer. I don't think he'd give away this level of... This is, this is the next Oprah special, probably. <laughs> We're wondering if the Queen has ever had a McDonald's. <laughs> Can you clarify? If so, what? If so, what? Yeah. What sort of meal deal are we talking? Yeah. Hey, man, I'm on the show, and we're wondering if the Queen has ever had a McDonald's. Can you clarify? Question mark. If so, what sort of meal deal are we talking? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Perfect. That's fair enough. <laughs> it's delivered. Any bubbles? <laughs> it's a bubble-free zone, Bobby. Probably should have handwritten that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> moving on, did everybody see this? Kanye West was recently spotted at the airport in Venice, uh, in Italy, wearing a pretty unusual disguise. Take a look at this for yourself. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's, that's definitely going to make him look less noticeable. <laughs> if only we were living during a time where it's socially acceptable to wear some kind of covering that hides half your face. <laughs> look at that. Look, he looks like an albino Shrek. <laughs> looks like the child of Jason Statham and the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> what makes you want to do that? At what point are you like... Grab the mask, will you? <laughs> Someone goes out, Kanye, there's, there's some photographers. Get the mask, this will throw them off. <laughs> look at it again, look at that. 
He looks like if the paparazzi caught the Oscar statue walking out of a brothel. <laughs> looks like if a bar of soap became a UFC fighter. <laughs> Kanye wanted to be left alone, but the plan actually backfired. People kept asking him for his autograph, thinking that he was Vin Diesel with food poisoning. <laughs> What? No, no reply. <laughs> and that's the news! <laughs> we'll be right back with Kate Beckinsale and Dave Roll, everybody.